Hello everyone, myself Dr. Roma Ghai, Associate Professor from Kite School of Pharmacy, Kite Group of Institutions, Ghaziabad, would like to take the, uh, my presentation on communication in pharmacovigilance. Now this communication in pharmacovigilance is a part in my lecture 24 of the subject pharmacovigilance BP805ET. So let's start. Now first of all, what is the definition of effective communication? What is the aim, purpose of effective communication? What are the principles of effective communication? Then what is the introduction to pharmacovigilance? Features of good communication? Channels of communication. So why do we need communication pharmacovigilance? Because we know pharmacovigilance is actually detection, monitoring and prevention of the adverse drug reaction. So we want that the drug should be safer from the public point of view. Drug safe honi chahi hai. Drugs effective honi chahi hai. To isi liye hame communication ki zaroot hai. So communication will ensure, will ensure good public health. It will ensure drug safety. So let's start with the definition. What is effective communication? When we say effective communication, what do we mean actually? Effective communication is the message which has been sent with evidence that it has been received, understood and has prompted appropriate change or action. So automatically, it is a message, hai. communication is a clear message which the other party receive and acknowledge that yes, I have understood this, understood and this should prompt change or action and based on that, a feedback is taken. And if we feedback that this is not the action, then we have to communicate again. So this is a, a very important cycle of effective communication. What is the aim of communication? We want to promote the knowledge. We want to uh, give good practices. We, we should adopt good practices. We want to educate the professionals. We want to educate the public. The aim of communication is to engage and motivate all parties like HCPs. Who are HCPs? Health care practitioners who take care of our health. Communication helps in providing information about the risk. Risk of what? Risk of the drugs which are being taken by the public, by a person. Now communication can influence the prescribing. If suppose I am the regulatory authority and I want to convince my doctors that this drug is not safer, then if I have to influence prescribing, then I have to motivate the doctor through communication. That communication can influence policy decision. So ultimately, what is the aim of communication in pharmacovigilance? That is protecting the patients from harm. What are the principles of effective communication? Be, be clear about your message and purpose. What do you want to say? What do you want to tell about a particular drug? Know your audience. We have to know your audience, whether our audience is a healthcare professionals or it is public, it is a patient, it is a regulatory body. So we have to know our uh, audience. Empathy. Empathy is very important. Empathy means understanding the other person. Is tarike se batai ki dusra person samaj sake. So we have to tailor the message accordingly. Choose appropriate method of media. Present message with impact. Make benefits clear. So what are the benefits? Make benefits clear. For example, agar main ek doctor ko convince karna chahti hu ki ye medicine ke uh, agar hum dose ko thoda sa uh, kam karte hain to uske benefits zyada hain aur adverse effects kam hain. So, if we tell this way, then the communication he, he may help us to make the benefits clear. Then pre-test the message and revise the message and then repeat the message. Then whatever message is given through communicate to the other party, we have to seek feedback, we have to monitor the effects and we have to start it again if we do not get the desired effects. So, as I told you, it's communication pharmacovigilance. So, pharmacovigilance, you should know that it's a branch of science dealing with the activities related to detection, evaluation, control and prevention of adverse drug reaction is related problem. So, why is communication Q important? Communication is important that the main concern of pharmacovigilance is assessment of risk versus benefit drug profile. That means we have to assess drug safety. So, communication say we can ensure drug safety. Ko ensure kar sakte. So, that is drug safety to use various drugs in patients suffering from several ailments. 
who are the partners in audience and drug safety? So manufacturers who are manufacturing the drug, regulators who are keep, keeping an eye on the manufacturers, politicians, employees, health professionals, academics, bosses, managers, public is directly influenced. Because public hi medicine leti hai. Patients who are suffering from various diseases. So consumer, lawyers, media, international communicators. Now, what is a good communication? If I want to explain something, it should be clear and simple so that my students can understand. So, in pharmacovigilance, good communication is what? The message should be very clear. So, message should be very clear, whatever we want to tell. It should be simple to understand by the audience. If the audience is doctor, the doctor can understand. If uh, the audience is public, the public should understand. It should provoke a change. It should be accessible, timely, it should provide benefits, it should hold attention and should be relevant and informative to the audience. Now doctors are different, nurses are different, so we have to message tailor-made the message. Patients are different, pharmacists are different, we have audience who we communicate regarding the adverse drug reactions of drugs. The, the age is different, the gender is different, education is different, the ability is different. Some doctors are very highly intellectual and some doctors are not able to understand what we want to tell about the adverse effects, right? Then similarly with the public, some public are literate, they understand us easily, they understand and some are not able to understand. See then people differ, differ, difference, people differ by intelligence, people differ by role, job, location, lifestyle, their income, debt, attitudes, values, so people are different. So, so we need to have a good communication. Okay? While communicating to the general public, we have to see what is the percentage of population at or below basic literacy level who are not able to, they, they know just the layman language. Unko adverse effect word saman nahi aayega. Unko kuch aur tarikhe se samjhana hoga. Percentage of population with poor health literacy, just ki poor health literacy hai, wo bhi jaldi, health, poor health as well as literacy. I'm sorry for this. Right? So, Basically, we have to consider all of them. So, heart of good communication is actually what? Understanding your audience and then tailoring message precisely to them. Bilkul jaise ek tailor, har ek individual ka clothes ko alag naap lekar, size lekar, uh, size lekar wo banata hai. Usi tarah se good communication tabhi hai agar wo message tailor made ho, ho sake. Jo person ko samaj sake. So, what are the flaws in drug safety communication? Because pharmacovigilance deal with what? Drug safety communication. So, flaws at all levels of society can lead to mistrust, misinformation and misguided action. Agar ye tino cheeze hoti hai, ultimately kya hoga? It will result in harm with the drug. It can create a climate where drug safety data may be hidden, withheld or ignored. Up effective communication. Up actual mein wo slide aai hai. जो मैं आपको properly समझाऊंगी कि doctors को क्या communicate करना है, कि pharmacist को क्या करना है, regulatory का क्या काम बनता है. So ultimately these are the persons, these are the responsibilities, this is the structure. So doctors, pharmacists, healthcare professionals, they should communicate the reported effects and adverse events. ये ultimately किसको report कर रहे हैं? ये report कर रहे हैं आपके pharmacovigilance program of India, जिसको जो हम PDPI बोलते हैं, pharmacovigilance program of India. India ka agar le, aise US mein kaha kar rahe hai FDA, US FDA. So doctors, pharmacists have to report, then only we will understand. Agar wo report nahi karenge, agar pharmacists report nahi karenge, healthcare professional report nahi karenge, to hamara, we will not be able to get whether the drug is safe or not. Aise pharmaceutical industries, they also need to report effects and adverse effects. What are clinical pharmacists and medical specialists? Inko kaise kya communicate karna hai? Inko communicate karna hai ki inko data collect karna hai, और डाटा का एनालिसिस करना है, राइट? सिमिलरली पार्मोकोजन सेंटर सेफ्टी ड्रग एडवाइजरी का बेटी, दिस आल्सो इस रिस्पांस ऑफ़ कलेक्शन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ़ द डाटा। रेगुलेटरी इंडस्ट्रियल ऑफिशियल्स, अब जो डाटा मिल गया रेगुलेटरी को थ्रू कम्युनिकेशन, इनको क्या करना है? रिस्क मैनेजमेंट, वार्निंग, Similarly, regulatory authority, health, health industry services, they will also do the same thing. So ultimately, what is our goal of communication? That is to prevent medicine related problems, to reduce morbidity and mortality of the people. 
So, effective communication enables systemic and reliable flow of information which travels from patient to healthcare professional. देखो पेशेंट तो अपनी तरीके से जैसे भी बताएगा अपनी लिटरेसी के हिसाब से हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल को ठीक है देन बट हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल ओके द इंफॉर्मेशन गोज फ्रॉम हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल टू फार्मास्यूटिकल फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज और डायरेक्टली टू द पीबीपीआई एंड अल्टीमेटली इट कैन गोस टू द हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शंस व्हिच कैन हेल्प इन एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ बेनिफिट रिस्क प्रोफाइल ऑफ अ ड्रग This has been made only very visible with effective communication. So, effective communication की वजह से doctors ढंग से सही तरीके से report करते हैं adverse drug reactions को और इससे हमको actually benefit risk profile of a drug मिलती है. So, communication can help in improving patient care, which I have told you in the starting. It can help in disease management. It can promote transparency. It can promote accountability of pharma companies towards the patient. सो उपसला उपसा मॉनिटरिंग कमेटी जो मैंने आपको एक वीडियो दिखा बताई थी डब्ल्यू एच ओ इंटरनेशनल ड्रग मॉनिटरिंग की अगर आप देख चुके हैं तो यू एम सी इज वर्किंग फॉर वर्ल्ड पब्लिक हेल्थ नॉट और फॉर कंट्री पब्लिक हेल्थ फॉर वर्ल्ड पब्लिक हेल्थ सो फॉर बेटर हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज ग्लोबली दे आर वर्किंग सो द रियल रोल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज हेल्पिंग इन रेजिंग अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फार्मोको विजिलेंस विच इन टर्न कैन हेल्प इन बेटर रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ द एडवर्स रिएक्शन so this can achieved again communication ab kaise ho raha umc or national agencies mein ho raha so this can be achieved by proper training sessions this can be achieved by properly giving lectures social science based research which can help in providing a better and effective platform for area reporting and better flow of information from consumers patients to healthcare authorities so effective communication is a core of successful vigilance right the purpose of interactions they, we come to know the interaction from the healthcare people okay the purpose of interactions among healthcare professionals patients regulators pharmacovigilance experts this is used to manage risks with the medicine and prevent patient harm to aapas mein ye log interact karte hain healthcare professionals ko kabhi drug drug interactions bhi ho jati hai to aapas mein discuss karte hain and then this is only to ye communicate karte hain convey karte hain message now why is it urgent why why do we need effective communication pharmacovigilance because the adrs are life threatening they can lead to deaths they are leading cause of morbidity mortality morbidity kya hai disability disable ho jana mortality deaths so lack of information so communication se hi to humko information mil raha hai so lack of information in and so lack of information as well as lack of communication will be now a challenge for pharmacovigilance professionals so pharmacovigilance essentially it's a risk management process for medicines now drug safety information must serve the health of the public this is very important such information must be ethically effectively communicated in terms of both content and method jo facts aa rahe hain ki kitne logo ko ek particular medicine se adverse effects aa rahe hain problems aa rahi hain to ye facts hain hypothesis conclusion should be distinguished clearly uncertainty should be acknowledged ki ye kya baki ho sakti hai drug ki wajah se ya nahi ho sakti and information should be provided in ways that meet both general needs as well as the individual needs so we have to educate in the appropriate use of drugs so in fact pharmacists and all pharmacologists they do this work that they keep on educating uh, the healthcare healthcare professionals right in appropriate use of drugs including the interpretation of safety information because after all these health healthcare practitioners are going to prescribe the drugs for the patients okay so this education is essential for the public at large as well as for patients as well as healthcare providers so the active timely effective communication see the communication must be a uh, must be proper active timely effective so it plays a role in issuance of updates on guidelines on drug safety so we have to sometimes we have to go for uh, updates on uh, these uh, drug safety drug safety guidelines ko hame update karna padta hai theek hai तो ये कम्युनिकेशन ही हेल्प करता है राइट एज पर द फार्मोकोजन एक्सपर्ट प्रेजेंट इन ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो इट हेल्प्स इन क्रिएशन ऑफ सेफ्टी गाइडलाइंस कि कौन सी ड्रग कैसे लेनी है किस में नहीं देनी है एल्डरली को देनी है नहीं देनी है लिवर प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है नहीं हो सकती तो ये सब इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन होती है एवरी कंट्री नीड सिस्टम विद इंडिपेंडेंट एक्सपर्टीज टू इंश्योर दैट सेफ्टी इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन ऑल अवेलेबल ड्रग्स इज एडिकुएटली कलेक्टेड impartially evaluated and made accessible to 
all. So every country needs a system. So exchange of data, again exchange of data means what? Communication. So exchange of data and evaluation among countries must be encouraged and supported. If you want good public health. So communication is a vital stage in pharmacovision process. So main requirements for drug safety communication. It should be accurate, it should be balanced, it should be open, it should be understandable, it should be targeted. So we have accurate, say hame, this we got A, from balanced we get B, then open we get O, from understandable we get U and target we get T. So about is a minomic for understanding this vital stage. Accurate means what? Ki jo cheez hum drug safety communication ek, ek jaga se dusri jaga hum communicate kar rahe hai, maybe to the regulatory authorities. Are we giving the right facts? Are we giving the right numbers? Is all that information with the reader needs to know included? Ya aur bhi information hai. So that is accurate. It should be very accurate. Balanced. Kya ek drug ki information hum de rahe hai? For example, dek de, de rahe ki ye drug uh, basically elderly ke liye harmful hai. To kya hum ni uske risks dekhe? क्या हमने उसके बेनिफिट देखे क्या वो बेनिफिटल है भी एल्डरली में या नहीं इज द ओवरऑल मैसेज राइट सो इट शुड बी बैलेंस्ड ओपन इज द कम्युनिकेशन ऑनेस्ट अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर हजार्ड विदाउट एनी अटेम्प्ट टू हाइड इट और मिनिमाइज इट क्या कोई पर्टिकुलर ए डी आर आया है एडवर्स टॉक रिएक्शन आया है जो रिपोर्टेड हुआ है तो क्या ये कम्युनिकेशन ऑनेस्ट है कुछ हाइड तो नहीं किया गया कुछ मिनिमाइज तो नहीं किया अंडरस्टैंडेबल शुड इट शुड बी एज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एज पॉसिबल क्या ये स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड है The reader is more likely to respond appropriately if the message is simple and clear. So understandable means that the message should be very simple and it should be in clear language. Targeted. Hum kisko ye information de rahe? This involves considering who is the intended audience and to whom we are giving this specific information. So communication intended should be in plain language reviewed by layperson. Agar hume patient ke liye information deni hai, to hum kya karenge? Hum specially ads rakhenge. उसको प्लेन लैंग्वेज में रखेंगे एंड इट शुड बी रिव्यूड बाय ले पीपल इन मल्टी कल्चरल एंड यू नो दैट इन इन कंट्री देर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कल्चर आर देर डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस आर देर तो अगर जैसे मैं जिस जो पर्सन को तेलुगु में समझ आता है तो उसको तेलुगु में ही समझाना है तमिल में समझ आता है तमिल में ही समझाना है सो इन मल्टी कल्चर एंड डाइवर्स वर्ल्ड मार्केट प्लेस मेकिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल इन अप्रोप्रिएट लैंग्वेज इज अ ग्रोइंग चैलेंज फॉर फार्मोकोविजन पीपल It's particularly important any information about drug safety to ensure essential information must be clearly conveyed. Essential information not be obscured. Obscured means hide. किसी तरह की hidden नहीं होनी चाहिए. Key facts and recommendation must be worded unambiguously. Unambiguously, it should be clear and should be placed in a prominent early position with use of highlight. उसको highlighten करना चाहिए key facts and recommendations को. इट्स वाइटल लेवल ऑफ रिस्क इज मेड वेरी क्लियर कि क्या ये ड्रग ज्यादा रिस्की है कम रिस्की है तो ये कम्युनिकेशन में ही कम्युनिकेटर्स को ही पता होना चाहिए सो लेवल ऑफ रिस्क मस्ट बी मेड वेरी क्लियर बाई एक्सप्रेसिंग इट इन एब्सोल्यूट टर्म्स और रिलेटिव टर्म्स सो फॉलोइंग रिप्रेजेंट दिस अ बेसिक मॉडल फॉर एनी ड्रग सेफ्टी कम्युनिकेशन वेद इट शुड बी हाउ इट शुड बी टारगेटेड एट हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स सो अगर हम हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स पे कर रहे हैं या ले ऑडियंस पे कर रहे हैं तो हमें क्या बताना है सबसे पहले बताना नेचर प्रॉब्लम कौन सी ड्रग थी जिससे एडवर्स रिएक्शन हुआ हेजार्ड जब एक एडिया डिटेक्ट हुआ तो क्या एक्चुअल हुआ प्रेस्पिटिंग फैक्टर्स कोई रिस्क फैक्टर्स तो नहीं थे समरी ऑफ द एविडेंस फॉर द हेजार्ड क्या लैब टेस्ट किए गए वॉट इज बींग डन क्या उस एडीआर को रिव्यू करा गया इन्वेस्टिगेट किया गया न्यू स्टडीज करी गई क्या उस ड्रग की लेबलिंग चेंज कर दी गई वट द इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर हेल्थ के प्रोफेशनल पेशेंट्स तो so, क्या होगा अगर हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स उसी ड्रग को प्रिस्क्राइब करते रहेंगे तो क्या हो सकता है पेशेंट्स पेशेंट्स के ऊपर क्या असर हो सकता है ओवरऑल बैलेंस व्यू ऑफ रिस्क एंड बेनिफिट्स एंड वेयर टू गेट फर्दर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल सो सच टाइप इज अ बेसिक मॉडल फॉर ड्रग सेफ्टी इंफॉर्मेशन सो डिफरेंट चैनल्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन आर देयर इट कैन बी फेस टू फेस राइट थ्रू पर्सनल ई मेल ब्रॉडकास्ट ई मेल वेब पेजेस फॉर्मल प्रेजेंटेशन वर्कशॉप पेपर एंड पोस्टर्स and use of social media so uh, ultimately i want to conclude this that the safer use of medicines depends on everyone's constant awareness and vigilance if we are vigilant if we are aware automatically we will complicate a, a good clear message so and automatically we will we can ensure safer use of medicines
right. So, strong communication practice is an important part of that process. A reliable flow of relevant information, it allows people to stay informed about the benefits and risk of medicines. So, if we give information in the right way to the general public or to the doctors who are prescribing the patients, this will ensure your general public health. Then there is very important that all areas should be reported, right? It should be communicated it, uh, properly and there should be the, the role of dialogue between patient and physician is very important because if the patient he hide karega, doctors ko nahi patayega, communicate nahi karega, to doctors ko properly samaj nahi aayega ki kya patient ke saath problems hoi hain, ek particular drug ke saath. So basically uh, uh, everyone, I just want to say that uh, uh, these are the references, you can go through this YouTube. And it's a very effective communication pharmacovision by Bruce Hugman. I, when I saw this video, I got really influenced. I really came to know what is actually effective communication. It should be a clear message with the other person should be able to receive and understand and then produce some action. Then only then it is a communication is effective. And the other book is Patrick Waller. So thank you all. I hope you have understood what is effective communication in pharmacovigilance. Thank you all.